All right, so it's been about two and a half years since I purchased this Uhomi uh, commercial grade ice maker. It can make about 100 pounds every 24 hours and the bin down below can hold about 33 pounds of ice. So I've had it for a while and I thought it was time to uh, make a product review. All right, so the first thing I wanna say up front is I am extremely happy with it. We paid $450 for it off of Amazon. Uh, it was uh, summer of 2020. So I think that's two and a half years now. Um, I've had very few problems with it. We put it where we used to have a dishwasher. We remodeled the kitchen, and so we had this little cutout here, and it, the ice maker fits perfectly right in there. There was an outlet because there used to be a dishwasher here. I did have to put in a, um, a lift pump because this thing does drain ice. A um, little bit I wanna tell you about it. Um, it's got an ice maker up top, and then it drops it into this insulated bin. It is not a refrigerated bin, so the ice is always slowly melting. Um, some people didn't like that because the ice is a little damp. Um, doesn't really matter to me much at all though. Um, it makes ice constantly, does not make a lot of noise. And um, uh, I actually did buy a little scoop for it that we just leave sitting on top. Uh, it's a great little ice maker. I'll show you some of the features that it's got. Um, the only problems that I have had with the unit are that occasionally the computer does have a glitch. Now, when that happens, there's a couple of things you can do. The easiest thing to do is to just hit the power button, which just resets the CPU, turn it back on, and it just kicks back on and starts running. Um, sometimes, if that doesn't work, uh, I made another video that shows you how to kind of take the top off go in, clean it, and reset the float. But you can, if, you, if, you, if you've got thinner fingers, like I can use my pinky, I can slide it inside and actually kind of lift, uh, lift it up. I'll show you a close-up of the display. You can change the size of the ice cube, which I think is nice. So if you want to make a lot of ice fast, you can make smaller cubes and it'll just turn ice faster. So I've seen this thing dump ice every six or seven minutes when it's making a small cube. I like to make the larger ice cubes, so it takes about 11 minutes per batch. Um, and trust me, it fills this thing up fast. We actually have uh, some friends who went out and bought ice bags, and um, we'll fill these things up and hand them off to the neighbors if they're going to a barbecue or taking the boat out. And, um, uh, Honestly, this ice maker is pretty much supplying several homes in our um, neighborhood ice on a regular basis. Again, very happy with it. Let me show you some of the features. All right, so it's a very simple screen on how to use it. You can simply turn it off by pressing the button and you can turn it back on right there. If you wanna change the size of your ice cube, you can press this button. So as you make larger ice cubes, it's simply gonna run water over the uh, ice maker longer to make a larger cube. If you wanna make batches of ice faster, you can make the ice cube smaller by turning it down. So really what you're doing is you're decreasing the time. So you'll get smaller ice cubes, uh, the lower the number, and I honestly leave mine at zero and that seems to be uh, good for everybody. There's five people in our family. We actually fill our dog bowls with ice as well, um, but everybody in my family usually fills up one of these thermoses two to three times a day with ice and water. This thing just never runs out of ice. We've uh, had parties in the summer or in the evenings where we'll fill up coolers all day long just to have sodas and beers and things in different places around the house. Um, and by the time people get over to our house, this thing's full again. So if people want cocktails, they can just scoop themselves some ice. All right, so here's a shot of the inside of the ice maker. So right now it's not making ice because of these cubes are hung up. Once those uh, drop down, you'll see it'll start cascading water and it'll start filling itself up. All right, so that's about it. Uh, if you've got any questions, leave them in the comments below. I have helped a few people that have had problems uh, with their ice maker. Just a few quick resets. Sometimes a hard reset by unplugging it and letting it sit for 20 minutes will really reset the computer. But, uh, but I've had very few problems with it in over two and a half years. Um, 
we use this thing all the time. If you've got any questions, leave them in the comments and I'm uh, happy to answer them.